Hey guys, it's me bringing you my week 5 battle against the. Ooh. No, Karachi Jirachi. And they're undefeated. So, and we are 1 in 3. That's not pretty. So, ranking wise, that's not a good matchup. But I actually have a decent matchup this week. And we have a hype team. I think we have a dang good team this week. And you guys will see how we did. I just made gun fingers and shot. So, yeah. Anywho, okay, so basically we're going to hit in the match. First off, lead matchup is a teeny and Neo Queen. So, what I'm thinking is if he scarf modest max attack, he has a lot of damage, but he does not kill. And I kill with his in headbutt. So, it's either he does a lot of damage with earth power, and then I kill him. So, either way, I kill him. But, unless he swapped. And, like, I'm thinking he's gonna stay in though. Because the team under normal circumstances cannot kill when he gets self rocks up. I don't know why I want to self rocks up. Bad. He said that in the match. He gets him for self rocks. But here, first turn, I did headbutt. First turn, Oko, the Dia Queen. He brings in Lele. This turn, I'm like, okay. Because then headbutt does 40%, right? I think it either did 40 or 60. I'm pretty sure it did. No, it did 40. So, like, and we didn't say it in rank. So I'm like, okay, there's no reason for me not to really, I don't really have swap it for this thing at all. Yeah, I didn't know whether he moon blast or shadow ball or what he would go for. So then he predicts here, and goes Milotic. And Milotic takes an easy 60%, 64%, and then he's, I figure he's flame orb. I could have stayed in there. I almost did stay in, and he just went for another 10, but, but like, no. I realized that he should go to Hell here. Because he can't swap in the Lele because it dies. It like dies. So, yeah. So, I'm like, he had to still seal it. So, I predict you know, Rotom Heat. Because I am banned, so I have to stand. He, I predict this thing also. I predicted there too. By the way, the way, I was a Revolt Switch. So, that's why I overheated there, because it did like 80%. So, I wanted to go for another, but I didn't want to. Decided so not to. Knock off of a team. Um, I was predicting he was a Revolt Switch, but I really don't care. Uh, they went for knockoff because the team did it did what it needed to do. Breaking in the knockoff, so I was not swapping there. Um, so he went, I went with sharp to protect. I wanted to predict there. I I, I basically knew he was going to sell off, but I didn't want to predict that because he had a chance to not, and he could go like my logic, because otherwise he could he could do that to take the um crunch and then fire and. Get a recover off because he takes one. So I can't mispredict there. I couldn't like sacrifice mispredicting. I could have gone Rotom Heat there again, but I, didn't, I wasn't 100% sure he would swap there because it's just Sharpedo. So yeah, I so decided just to stay in and predict. Uh, I don't do much with the client. I do like 40%, and he air slash there. So I'm like, yes, sounds good. So then I Volt Switch. I went for Toxic there. Now I went for Toxic because I didn't want to Volt Switch because if Aurora was an option to come in. So I didn't Volt Switch. He went Lele. I was like, okay, Toxic is actually nice because he can't call my if he's called Mind Variant. I don't think he was. But as I saw the Dove Blade because I know I could take a hit, I had to just take it. I was basically sacking it. It's either I sacked Wimsicott or I sacked Dove Blade. So I didn't sack Dove Blade because. So basically, what the, my thought process was. That is either I had no blade for your dactyl or Whimsicott for it. Just for the tailwind. I ended up figuring figuring out that tailwind was more important. So no blade he said take that better than I thought it would, because it's not specs. I forgot that it's not specs there. So he goes Aurora, I I earned hit there. So for like twenty five percent. I kinda of forgot he had this thing by the way. And then I still take that by the way. I wanna mention that I still take that. My toxic I protect here. No, I do not protect. No, because it's priority. Insight drain, okay, so then he's on eighteen. I go sharp here. I did not predict near. No, I did predict there. And and I went road to me I don't know why I played there. I went I predicted him once again. He went this thing I was predicting um uh what was I predicting? Lele. I was predicting uh Lele swap in. Or either no, I think that thing swapping in. So then I could get a speed boost off. The predict he would think out out speed so and like I I I don't know why I I 
I don't agree with my predict there, but I ended up going once it got unscald. I didn't want to go anything else and take that scald. I was taking it like 80% with this thing. I would survive it, but I, I wanted to predict this thing, but I did not. Then going right in the hard road to meet there. Just air slash to get a crit there. Or 27%. Thunderbolt. I predicted him stay in there, actually. Because he had every reason to. Actually, at this point, he knew I was Scarf. That's why I predict him to go to Aurora here. I predict that. Phew, shots fired. And I predict that and go this thing. Torpedo. I predict here because I predict him to stay in at this point because he had no reason to not. And the thing dies to the Octic. I get plus one speed boost. He goes lay lay. I'm like, okay, this thing dies. But no, it doesn't. It didn't quite die, actually. And I predicted the Moonblast there, so. It's either he goes Shy Shot, predicting, or he goes Moonblast. I ended up going to Hilligo because it could take the like it could take the moon blast and I think it's like I didn't know it was popping. So I had to hope to God he pray uh that he went moon blast. That's a stack drop. That is relevant because I predict here. No, I didn't yeah, I predicted him swap. So I went South Rocks because so basically the reason why I went South Rocks was because Celestia wasn't quite in range of Sharpedo. But he went hard start <laughs> Celestia was relevant. He went this thing, so I got a Sharpedo, because at this point, at 40% is where he's in range. So I protect here. Get yeah, lost ones to use. At this point, I knew I couldn't sweep, but I could break what I needed to break. Which was this thing. That's why I went the crunch there, did 43% like I thought. The face drop is relevant, I knew I could take that. Then I get a crunch here again. At this point, I knew he'd go away. Like, because I figured out this thing scarf now. Or no, I pretty I pretty good last time. I went that there to see what he locked himself into. Plus to get an extra turn toxic. Plus to turn to for like the rain. I could run him heat there because I know I could take a moon blast. He doesn't take a well at all. If he got the spadag drop, that would be bad actually. I think I lost the game if he got the spadag drop. And here because okay, so basically I'm not even asking max speed. So I, I go into Nihiligo. To get to survive hit. If I had not survived hit, then I lose the game. Because I could not. No, I didn't. I didn't know I won the game though. I win the game no matter what the road means. I can thunderbolt both. But see, if he was max speed, he guaranteed won the game. If he killed my Helico there. Because I could not protect on the psychic terrain. With. I could not get the tailwind up with him got So then Aerodactyl could kill one guy. He could kill Red Meat. If he was max speed. So, there. And he ends up going to. Milotic. I don't understand that play. I don't understand that at all. I went for Sludge Wave because it did more, this thing. I actually kind of, I predicted him to go Milotic. Yeah, I didn't know whether he would go Milotic. Like, you understand? Like, he, he, he could have swapped and take the power to him. He was hitting harder. So, <laughs> I don't understand why he went this thing still. So then I Sludge Wave again because I can kill this thing. I drove max speed, he could have won the game. At this point, I know I've won the game. I'm like so happy. I actually outspeed, so then I know where to meet outspeed. But either way, I want to do the safe thing. I, 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 I because the Helico was like 20 base speed higher. So I set up Tailwind, then I end up taking the Ice Fang. The crit, do by the way. And then I Moonblast and win that game. I win against the top person in the league. I was so hyped about that, by the way. Because I, I don't know why I didn't change the dark theme. I was a dark theme, but um so basically I wanted to win this game so bad. Because this this actually determined whether I make playoffs. I have to win next week. If I lose next week, the person has to lose with a bad differential. He has to lose and yeah, he has to lose badly basically. So <clears throat> it's not a pretty not ready looking playoffs and I have to fit that rain theme. Rain team with Tabu Coco, all the right you, and yeah, shenanigans I have stolen these. And honestly, it's a pain. I built majority, I prepped from Rain. If he doesn't bring Rain, I basically lose the game. By the way, kidding. No, he doesn't. No, I don't. Um, but hey, I don't really care because it's the game. Kidding. I care very much. I will be so salty if I lose next week because if then he wins again. But hey. And it also comes down to whether if he wins that week, and then the other dude is facing that 
another person. This is complex. Yeah, goodbye.